Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. It is I, the great Dr. Bright, here to play this new game I got from a friend. Alright, here we go. Massage is hard, patience through investigation, and good resources management are your best friends. Good luck. Oh, I'm fucked. I'm never leaving this place. <laughs> These will never open. <laughs> I am the worst detective imaginable. Sad Square Studio presents. Okay. Uh, the, the, I'm assuming that's a gun. Yep, that does that is indeed a gun. Are we about to murder someone? I mean, I'm fine with murder. I just need to know if we're murdering someone. Just need to know. I'm just waiting. Wait, this this guy is taking fucking forever to load a fucking gun. Sweet Jesus. Technically, you only need one bullet if you use the shoot in the head and they're dead. Oh, there's more than one person. Okay. Sweet, more murders. Well, she's dead. <laughs> He's dead. And the child's dead. And I'm dead. Oh, wait, I'm alive? Okay. Uh oh, I guess I have a broken leg. I don't have my broken leg anymore, okay. Progress room. This room is a hub containing items that represent your progress throughout the game. These, I these items are collected in different ways, including the end of the chapter. Once co collected, these items will automatically appear in the progress room. Okay. Can't open that door. I actually don't. Oh, is it actually? Okay, so it is mouse. Okay, that's good to know. So I, that means I cannot open that door upstairs. Got it. What the fuck do you want? Hello, Twain. It's Rose, your neighbor. I Hello, Dwayne. Sorry to see you. I know it's late, and I know I'm supposed to pretend a little, a little anxious, anxious about, about small, small things. things. And I apologize for that, but... 
I'm getting a bit worried. I haven't seen you out of the house in about three weeks. Is everything alright? Could you call me and let me know everything's fine? Alright, bye bye. I only read it because I can barely hear the motherfucker on the phone. Set to F the hang up the phone, okay. Is there like a way to turn up the goddamn. Wait, but. No. I said. Oh, wait, that's video. I'm an idiot. Audio. S. Make it up that high so I can actually hear the fucking. fucking voice. Okay. I have a lot of bases, apparently. Fuck, I forgot how- I don't know how to drop it. <laughs> okay, so I just have a random cup with me from now on. Trap the cup in there. Ha! Damn it. <laughs> How do I drop the cup? Damn. The cup. Oh, it's F. So what the fuck is this? Got you, you little... You work, work Bernard the alien back to the planet. What? Okay. I don't understand, but okay. What does that say? Oh, I thought that said something else entirely. Oh, hmm. Oh. I don't even want to know what that is. It's jammed. Oh, that's great. Let's go down to the scary area. Oh, sanity. Your character's sanity will affect your gameplay. Staying too long in the dark will increase your character's sanity among amongst varying other elements. Your character's sanity is represented by a brain icon on the lower left corner of the screen. See his brain clearly in your Characters, Sandy's dangerously alone, dangerous, dangerous events will occur. The right icon, icon appears when you're in a stressful situation with the service here. Character increases your character's sanity. Okay. Oh, well, well, that's interesting. Okay, so paranormal events will happen. Light bulb's probably gonna be replaced by another one. I guess you gotta find a light bulb. Good morning, y'all, folks. The great city of Riversdale. Today, the weather is going to be absolutely celestial. The temperature won't drop below 77 degrees, and it's gonna be one hell of a sunny day. Get your sunscreen towels out and take your whole family to the beach. Take a day off and show your loved ones how much you care about them on this wonderful vacation. On another note, today we've got a special guest with us, and we're going to have a lot of fun with him. His name is Dwayne Anderson. His whole family. Why is that disturbing in the slightest? <laughs> Novice electrician. <laughs> And try to leave via the front door. Oh, well, that's a bunch of broken keys. That's not. It's not uh, unsettling in the slightest. Locking basement. Why do I want to go in the basement? I don't want to go in the basement. 
Thickness item will begin a chapter. You will not be able to begin a different chapter until you complete this one. Uh, probably cancels. I don't want to start that just yet. I want to explore. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Let's start the chapter. <laughs> Accept. Oh, Rakan's cha chapter: The All-Seeing Eyes. Okay. What does that mean? What What happens? Something up here change? Oh, the bathroom's open. Hello? Uh, well, that's not. Well, that's great. I don't see anything I can interact with in there. Pills. Pills acts as an aid for your kind of sanity. Your sanity will stay survival when your sanity is dangerous. Hello, they're the only viable option to cover your sanity. I did not mean to do that, god damn it. Not mean to do that either. Looks to open the goddamn door. I can't see whatever the fuck that is. Okay. Flying eyes from outer space. <laughs> Standing is cruising fast. Give me your fucking pill. Fuck out of here. Yes, there's lights down there. This box is this way. I can't see shit. Did, do I ever get a fucking flashlight? The answer is no. Okay, honestly, I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, well, that's open now. That's a lot of pills. God damn it. I'm very confused very confused as what the fuck I'm supposed to do in this game. Like is, there's a certain objective. Oh well, no, I can't go in there in the door. Is there other doors that are open? Excuse you. Well, I mean, no. 
the store is open now. Oh yeah, it's down here. Tab the hole in inventory. Do not tell me it's in the basement. Do not tell me it's in the basement. God fucking damn it. Oh, what the fuck was that? Okay, let's not. Uh, let's go in the fucking basement. Let's stay further in there. <laughs> oh god, D did not mean to do that. So cute there. Oh, I didn't realize the door was unlocked. Okay, still, I got both my pills. Okay, that's good. Lighters. Lighters are, can be used as a minor source of light to explore the house. And they last a limited amount of time. They will not prevent stress buildup. Staying in the dark with a lighter will decrease your character's sanity. They will also, they can also light candles. Okay, so let's, candles can be placed here. Let's not go down there then. So let's go find some candles. Yeah, I don't want to go in there. Now the real question is where the fuck we can find some candles? Well, I mean, there's some candles right here. <laughs> Can I take some? No. Well, that's just fucking great. No. God damn it. Thank you. I want to waste my lighter's light. What is it? I like it. Your hands are full. Well, how do we fucking... Can I drop it? Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. F drop. F drop. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Just get in the light and then fix my storage shit. So I feel like I need to go downsa uh, downstairs in the basement for candles. Excuse you. Fuck off. This door's so hard to open. We're over here now. Let's 
this now. Okay, maybe. I don't fucking know. I don't know where here is. I got way over here. I wasn't sure. Let's go down there towards that light. Oh, that's interesting to note. What the fuck is this, though? Okay, there's just a random fucking doll thing. anything of note except there's blood in that sink thank you Jesus Them to just no need to keep it. Okay. So we got a light now. No, God damn it. And there's no need to keep it. Okay. That's not an item now. It's useless. You see, that's the problem. Oh, right. Drop. Okay. Okay, so now I know that that one's not useless. Can't open that door. Got it. Oh, yay. Even more downstairs. Just my perfect thing in a horror game. Wait, that just leads down here, doesn't it? Yeah, it literally does. Why is my sanity increasing? I mean, decreasing. I was not even in the fucking dark. But okay. Okay, yeah, in real honesty, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I just literally went back up the fucking stairs. God damn it. The toys back in their place. Now you'll have a blah staff with a key if you need something with them. Oh, there's a goddamn candle. I 
I did not mean to do that. Wait, no, bring the spider back out. Unless there's a bunch of toys. Hey, Jesus fucking Christ. There's weirdly enough more pills in here. This door wasn't so hard to fucking open. Open that door. The back side. God damn it. Kids, if if you need something in an electric room, go ask dad in the office upstairs. Oh, uh, okay. Your sand is draining fast. And your lighter's nearly empty. God damn it. Your lighter's empty, there's no need to keep it. Bottle's empty, there's no need to keep it. Honestly, this game is just confusing me. I think I'll come back to this at a different time. I'm gonna... I'll go to this one since this one's extremely popular. So let's go with this one. It's gonna take a few minutes to download. So, in the meantime, how is all the danger noodles here? So, um, how's everyone in chat? Everyone having fun? I hope, I, I don't know, hopefully there's no more botters, I can't tell, hopefully.
I am alone, which is fine. Which means definitely those 21 people are fuckers. God fucking damn it. Just waiting on the download. Luckily, this game doesn't have that how much to download. Looks like it's only gonna take two minutes left. So two minutes, we can play a new game. Yay! Because honestly, I have no clue what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing in that game. I honestly have no idea what the fuck to say <laughs> we're waiting for the count. Finally, it's done. Okay. Just need to go ahead and change the stream title. Well, not stream title. The stream category. Done. Alright, there we go. Oh, nice and changed. Say future when you see a symbol. It's very, oh shit! That's right. You guys can't see shit. Uh, killer frequency. Is it not showing up? No, it is not. Great. That's fucking great. So just turn you off, turn you on, turn you on. Yes. 
No. God damn it. Why is it being such a dick? I know we can fucking pick it up. Why won't it fucking pick it up? I don't want to flash my fucking OBS on top of the goddamn thing. What the hell, now it's not even showing on the thing for OBS to even pick it up. God fucking damn it. So fucking done. Specific window. Window. Killer frequency. Okay. Why won't you load? You are pissing me off. So confused. Why? Are you being like this? You fucking dumb piece of shit OBS. <sighs> This work now. No, of course not. It's doing this. We can try and see what the hell it's doing here. Like, why is it showing all this? It doesn't need to show all that. What the hell is going on with fucking Obius? Fuck it, I'm done. I don't understand why Obius is being such a fucking cunt. I don't understand. It's pissing me off. It needs to stop with the fucking bullshit. Start everything. Got my heaty. Sound patrol. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, wow, the sensitivity. Picking up objects. F to drop at objects are to throw them. Well, that was shit. Here's a real question. Where the fuck do I go? I have no idea what the fuck I did. You go fuck yourself. Interacting with objects, just even inspecting, hold all the other tape and everything, whatever. Bam. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, well, that's not gonna alert my enemies. was a button for a moment. Crouch. 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 I mean, I still can't open this, but okay. I'm assuming this is a tutorial. Doors. Okay. Close the net behind me. If I know how to close doors. <laughs> I can't move. Um, hi. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, how about you, uh, fuck off? Dang get me, bitch. You, uh, do you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is. But, I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays <laughs> us to check the equipment before each show. And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... Let's do the checks. All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, Forrest, 
you need to grab a record and stick it on the turntable. Oh, okay. Got it. No music is playing. Got Great. it. Now turn it off. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Fuck. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Fuck. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Great, yeah. and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Fuck. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They have <laughs> now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm <laughs> okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster. Front of the desk to the right. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time? Uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Oh, great. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. A penis hour. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good evening, Gallows Creek. <laughs> this is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm going to play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or what the discover fuck? the corpse of a loved one? <laughs> what? That's Jesus good. Christ. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest. And you're the one at the mic, so... Are you serious? Peggy, you want, you want me to scream. You know this show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Turn Yeti skin phone on the screen. I'm going to do the Yeti one. <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win 
two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, All right. Here's some music while you get dialing. Shit. I introduced the song. Yes. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Oh, God, Forrest. That was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Light up, Forrest. That's going to be the highlight of my week. Oh, the Forrest, Lord. there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Uh, what? Are you calling to guess that scream? Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need your help. 911 <laughs> is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Are you serious? Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I... Alright. Give me a moment, Danger Noodles. I need to be somewhere at the moment. And I will be right back.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let me just make sure our game is actually showing up on screen. God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Where are the other officers? Is there anybody else at the station? Well, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come in to you. What? Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. Gonna break down before I went another cell, another set of keys. Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. Find another set of keys. Another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Check Sheriff Matthews. Check the officers. Have you look around the officers' desks? That's the first place I'd check. That was the first place I checked, too. I couldn't find anything useful, though. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Oh. Don't stare at me. <laughs> I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, 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 th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Okay, I, not... I think we can handle this. And quitting KFM if this is a prank. Yeah, that seemed to go okay. Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. 
Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. Just gonna sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. Right, team. That's the right thing to do. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, shit. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? Well, How shit. What the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No. No way. This can't... Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like... Whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh can't be God. what? Um, mask and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's Most coming likely. this way. Lock the doors. Listen, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. Uh, take the police cruiser. Uh, hide in the station. You need to stay put and hide in the station. You should be safe in there. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. And what if he gets in? What if he finds us? There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh... I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But... Wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Take Sheriff Matthews' gun, take, uh, probably Deputy Martinez. Deputy gun. Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I, shit, it's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Is there any weapon lockup? Can you see any other weapons? Or are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Fucking taser. I mean, it's got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez, but then... Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Can you still see the whistling man? You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? No. So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Leslie's dead. Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. 
God, I hope she makes it through this. <sighs> you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. Uh, we're here, over. We're here. Leslie, so I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what Leslie, the hell's happening? happening? The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Taser! Drive. Drive. Don't worry, Deputy Martinez. We're out of here. You Leslie, two okay? You two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser, definitely the right call. Oh my Fuck God, yeah. I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my God, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, how long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek and the Nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. That long? Two to three hours each way? We have to fill in for that long. That's the way it is. I'll be back as fast as I can. Anyway, once I'm in... Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Uh, take, take care. care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. <laughs> Folks, you heard it here. We've got a killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind, or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The Scream. For now, Here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. Okay. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... Who is this Whistling Man character, anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. Okay, what happened to him? Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. Guess we'll find I out. Guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. 
I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. 35 at 35 best? At best. 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? You know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to... 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Mr. Whistling Man. You don't have to kill again. Oh, but I do. You must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me. We want cheese dust and pretzels. I mean, I want cheese pretzels or I'll cut your face off goddamn kids I'm cutting them off yeah cut yeah, them cut off, him off. Uh, <coughs> we also want a mega gold fuck For you just tuning in we do in fact have an actual killer out in the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Enjoy this classic by Smooth. It's their hit song, The Word. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... That's real. <sighs> Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. That's right, bitch. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp. The sheriff is dead or the cops aren't coming. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I drove to the edge of town for a jazz run. I know some 
psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me, knife in hand. Oh god, it's actually happening. Where are you now? Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never lock the door loose. I've got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Can you go back, Frank? It sounds like you lost some. I think it's fine. Is there anywhere else you can go? Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Sixteen, the scream, hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you, Sandra. It was most likely gonna die. Doesn't the station have a show about cars, the Tamora Twins, or something? Timberline Twins talk motors. Yeah. You know they're not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. Oh, I can actually... Not getting in there tonight. So many locked doors, so few keys. Can all agree to favor uh, Cupola Cabra, our best attempts, blah, blah, blah. Our nearest time, this is audio medium. People won't get, get its egg. It's excellent, idiot. Can't read that. Dear Brian McCarter, please enjoy a free sip of garlic bread. We put in the latest offers and deals outside the box. If you want to read them out, out on here, more space and offers, blah, blah, blah. blah. It's not like you are speaking. Hey, I ate the garlic bread much like your show. It was mediocre. The deal is worth checking out, though. Can I see what's been game 2020? See anything about fucking. Oh, there we go. Now this has to be important. Priority car theft magazine those there's a right now, so those aren't sitting right. I'm gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Guess take this. the lights though or the sound I'm getting right now you find anything found a note good and did you find anything else yeah I'm just looking down she's going with Paul let me what I'm looking Remind for again me what I'm looking for again the caller is trying to start a car without the keys. Ah, uh, yeah, and we have a car show, right? Timberline Twins Talk Motors, yeah. I'm gonna search again. Thanks, Peggy. 
I don't know what else I'm supposed to get. Why confused? Honestly, I did not find anything else. Get that magazine. Yeah, I can't find anything else. I'm quite confused as well. I was supposed to look for, so most likely, uh, Sanders gonna die. You find anything? I found a note. And did you find anything else? I'm done, I'm done looking. looking. Let's just get on with the call. You sure about that? Yeah, let's do this. If you're sure. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Screwdriver and ignition and twist clockwise, unscrew the steering column. The steering wheel with the hammer. <laughs> Probably the fucking first. Oh, wait, no. Because now I'll also start the engine. Unscrew, unscrew the steering column. Exactly what Tell you me see. exactly what you see. Okay. I can see it. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Shred the blue and red wires and twist them together. Shred the brown and green wires and twist them together. Strip, strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. Strip the blue and red wires and twist <laughs> them together. Okay, wrong choice. <laughs> Tell me exactly what you see. Tell me exactly what you see. Let's try Strip that one. Strip the brown and green wires and twist them together. Let's get some results. We take the brown and green and twist and... Ah! Yeah, not the results. Okay, so it's the last one. <laughs> it's the last one. There's a bunch of wires down here all picked up and... Like, I couldn't find anything to help me decide this. Our phone was this. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next?
Grip the purple wire and twist it into an exposed cable. Strip the purple wire and twist onto Try the exposed first cable. First option. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Oh, we didn't tell my jazz or friends here about this one. I'll just strip that wire in. Obviously not that answer. <laughs> I just electrocuted Sandra. <laughs> That's the correct one. Not the correct one. Uh, strip the pink wire and plug it into the ignition. Strip the pink wire and plug it into the ignition. Well, you're a lifesaver. Oh, we didn't tell my jazz or friends here about this one. I'll just strip that wire in. Not that one I uh, It's the no. third option again. <laughs> I just keep killing her. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. Ending brush. Fuck yeah. Did it. I can't believe it, but we did it. Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. You bet I am, baby. Oh. We did it, Forrest. Sure Keep did. talking and nobody Here's dies. Another survive. That we're Sandra Sharp survived the whistling man. Excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to. Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, it's a sad place on earth. It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh, Bad friendly, happy. usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. You don't notice the sneak after a while. Well, you don't even notice the smell. I guess that's nice. Smell? What the? There's no smell. You, you've lived here your whole life, Peggy. You wouldn't recognize it by now. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. Doubt it. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can We at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. 1242. Caller on line one. Time to turn the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, yep. Boris, my name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so happy that that Deputy Martinez survived. I've seen her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Oh, you. Did a really great job. And uh, as a thanks for all you did there, I just wanted to tell you that I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Wow, okay. Brian, that's really good of you. You really don't have to, though. Oh, it's the least I can do. And if you like it, well, you're in luck because we're always running. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Can oh, I turn off the goddamn no, no, phone no, call? No, no, no. Your choice of words, can I have you? 
Don't worry about hey, it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Oh, thank you, Boris. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special this weekend. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. Well, for Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Uh, yes. Sure. Is there an America one? Done. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man, a devout Christian, and a proud patriot. Teddy Gallows I Jr. is Gallows Creek. Like I his father and all his fathers this before tape. him, Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor, and he stands with our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews, who, after years of keeping the peace... Oh, God. Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Teddy Gallows Jr. doesn't Might believe in keeping a good man out of a job. Teddy Gallows Jr. believes in the American dream. Does Linda Cartwright? Help Teddy Gallows Jr. keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Sounds a little Help him like become Donald mayor. Trump. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. How about you fuck off? Because I don't like politicians. 100% grade A asshole. Belinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not... Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course he's one of those guys. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the day, and he never lets anyone forget it. Right. Oh, more. Let's just. Get oh wow, I kind of want to have him die repeatedly. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. That ad really made me want to take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller who's got their vote. Welcome to the scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. Oh I'm God. At the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. And... Wait, Forrest Nash? I want to speak to nine one one. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? Leslie left Leslie's me in charge. To Henderson right now, she left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. We're live on air. Live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Teen. They get worse every year. This punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Uh-huh. And now he's back. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. Every year this happens. They think it's funny. Not a big deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he can't... 
killed Sheriff Matthews. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom, upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Save game. Okay. You get out. Of there. Is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Bye, Maurice Tom. It's time. I could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. You... you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell... I wouldn't care. The oh. freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. How do you know our fax machine fast. number? How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. Where's the fax Tell machine? Tell me where the fax machine is again, Peggy. The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Why is the fax machine so okay. fucking far away? Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Oh. Uh, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Uh, Eliumper1235. How is it hanging? I should save right fucking here. Hey, did you get the fax? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh... You still with us? I am. You get my fax? Yeah, I got it right yeah, here. I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. But now he's in the office next door. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number, and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Okay. So one of these is gonna, one of these is correct, and the rest are gonna get him killed. So I'm prepared to have him die multiple times. Call the archives. The extension is 01. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? <laughs> go to archives. Go to the kitchen. Moving to the kitchen. The kitchen? That's just across from the archives. It's going to be tight. Are you sure, Nash? 
I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to the archives. Good plan, Peggy. It's all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you Was think that? he'll make it okay? I'm Is that sure the correct choice? But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Calling coming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever ready be. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? By the skin of my teeth, I am. Came out of the archives almost as soon as he entered. Thank God I made it in here just a second before. The killer already searched the archives. He probably didn't have to look around much. Did he see you? Are, are you safe for now? He didn't see me, no. Let me just check the security cameras to see where he went. Looks like he's heading towards the cubicles. We have enough intern desks to keep him busy for a little while. Uh, I'm not out of the woods yet, though. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So... The only way out is by the stairs, which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I can move the furniture out of the way. Not quickly or quietly. I can't believe I made a correct choice first time. Uh, can you lock, him, you in lock a room? him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. The damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office, where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? <laughs> Now's not the time, Peggy. Peggy. I don't think now's the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, Forrest. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? The radio? We could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Is it still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. It should be in the archive. Actually, I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. We're gonna save him, Forrest. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. Let's make it happen. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? I mean, it's a plan with steps. Get the radio, plant it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and... Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. 
I'm just gonna turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn Maurice, the volume turn down. Turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Wait. Ah, oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait. We're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. If you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16, I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. Can you confirm that? That's correct. You got it, 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Sure, make the call. Yeah, I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll impersonate Mr. Russell. Fuck your face. I'll call the killer a jackass. I'll just call the whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio's set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I... Uh, good question. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the killers go in. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. You can easily be seen in the desk. The candidate takes a little while to get out. The killer's going to secret archive. I want to say the cubicles. Hide among the cubicles. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. You jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. Okay. 
Keep Girls was a bad decision. Can it or take too long? Uh, let's try the desk. Hide under the desk. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. You jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. Okay, so it's cabinet's the answer, because there's no way the secret archives room is where you need to go. Hide in your cabinet. All right. Well, this is it. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. It's a good thing we have the ability to save. <laughs> I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. You jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! What is we this, Five Nights at the Radio? The kind of. We have to save Forrest, people. You beautiful bastard! Save people. <laughs> I can't believe that actually Using the rate on the radio. Frankly, neither can I. Was there ever any Come doubt? On, Maurice, was there ever any doubt? Ah, God, it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Right yeah, because the there's only three cops. All one's dead, one's passed out, and you, and, you, and one's the on Cancun vacation. So we're, so we're a radio show host. It's taken over to police phone calls. Yay! I'll think about it. You can totally trust me. I didn't kill his men like two times. <laughs> There we are, folks. The whistling man well, is now I don't need that. Let's all take a deep breath. And play some killer tunes. Game over. Maurice Russell survived the whistling man. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess we got some downtime now. I could ask you some questions to kill the time. You're going to interview me. You sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. You don't get to understand. What do you want to know? I regret this, but okay. Maybe I like being a mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Because I'm the whistling Question man. Question one. Tell me about your family. They're dead. Right. Come on, Peggy. That's too general. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? No, because they're dead. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? Yes, but they're dead. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry for us. <laughs> Wait, I didn't think that would actually be the answer. <laughs> Can you pick me the how it goes? Okay. That's how it goes. <laughs> anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh, what happened there? 
What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Then died. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. Jesus Christ. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? No. Sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're on air. One of Reggie's K-Fam regulations. Oh, well, this I'll is great. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Gee, thanks, Peggy. Oh, yes, I'm... on the front door. See you in a bit. Oh, great. I'm not... I'm going to die. Okay. Down to the first floor. Close the door. It's not opening. Oh, yes. I just love being murdered. Play on air. <laughs> totally not being watched and stalked and about to be murdered. Nothing at all. I'm white, so I'm obviously stupid in murder areas. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. Fuck you. <laughs> Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lies. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. Well, we're not going to say it's the last word. What the hell was that? What was that last word? It started with an I... N and it cut off. What oh, was the last thing? Forest, we're still on air. Say something. Be careful, folks, Galsters. Oh, <clears throat> folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through our door with the killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Well, now we know Give the killers a are racist because they almost you put down the N-word. On 911. Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with the- Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Mr. Are Russell? He's... What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! He's gone? Damn it, I thought you locked him up. What's going on? Damn if I know, Nash! Mr. Russell, where are you now? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They 
thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Did you let him escape? Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. I don't Damn trust it, you, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? I'm telling you it was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, but if he's back from the dead, then... Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. Don't be ridiculous, Peggy. It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? Oh, he... There's no way he... Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Look, I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer? No, I have my be guns. A demonic spirit? You would be dead. He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do well, now? Well, I mean, if it was a demon, I would fuck him. But he's not a demon, so I'll kill him. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches batted. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. Stop the show for Stop a tape? Stop the show for a tape? Just go get it. Okay, well, fuck you. Fucking bitch. Roddy Are fan? you a big fan of Roddy? Oh, I love Roddy. I will always find you with my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god. I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well... If that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, <laughs> folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Okay, uh, everyone listening, I know how to deal with people trying to sue you. 
Yeah, it's rather easy. You just murder them before they can sue you. This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Yeah, I also saw there was a bunch of other records. I honestly think that's going to be important at some point. So let's go ahead and just take this up here. Oh, wrong area. Yeah, but like I said, if anyone tries to scam you, tries to sue you or anything, best thing to do is just murder them. And this is nice music. Anyway, let's actually hey, continue the game. It? Got it. Let's get this on the air. <laughs> Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. I honestly could care less about the name. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. <laughs> I don't give a shit who they are. I would murder them. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Yeah. Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh, and most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Hey, birthday, happy Fernando. birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Uh-huh. That's a bad idea, Murphy. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's Soul Joe series. So get ready, whistling man. You just let loose the junkyard dog. 
Oh, no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. And dead. Anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. I mean, if, if the Whistling Man doesn't kill him, I will. Because I like murder. Which is why I'm pissed off by the whistling man because he is taking my kills. These are my people that I kill. Oh wait, this shit's in the goddamn way. Well, that's actually very useful. I should keep it right there. <laughs> okay, let's let's play this shit. Oh, let's pause. Grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. The world famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! Oh, we got God. it all out on Giblet Field. We got the Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Can Jam, Jams, Jellies, Jamborees, Juggling, My Roller brain is Rickies, melting. Roller Disco Lessons, Train. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, bullshit. safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, seats, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. And bait tattoo, face painting, puppets, oh, pet dear zoo, fucking puppets, petting zoo, amazing days, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle. Pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog My eating God, contest, flower up. contest, and of course our famous gourd measure off. The festival is brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory, and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here, Forrest. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. Let's see what our next caller would choose. We got a caller. You know what to do. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Am I going to kill you? Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Hello? Hello. Are, are you still with us? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, caller. Don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times? Already? I just realized so, on the on the maze there's a person. We sure did. You're insane. Right hands. here, there's a person right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, caller? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. I won't. You're gonna die. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? All right. This is the part where I gotta keep saving because one of these choices can kill her. Can you run can away? You run out back. No. What if he's outside, waiting for me? Oh God. Can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house. He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Oh my God. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? You live by a frat house. Yes, they're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Fun covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I can't. I can't. Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know. But... Wait, the takeout. 
If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Peggy, what places do takeout in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... There's the barbecue place, Grilling Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. Uh, that's it? That's it? Gallows Creek only has three places? You know, Forrest, just for once, I think you should be thankful that we're not in Chicago. Well, fuck right. you. We'll call each place and ask who they delivered to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Yeah, better get to well, it. Let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. This is definitely important to somewhere to look. Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or... Uh... <sighs> I just have to look around. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. Ah. So now I gotta find a pizza box. And where the fuck would the pizza box be? Just stop putting stairs on office furniture. You're lowering the resale value of everything. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm gonna put more stickers on there. Ah, shit, I didn't grab the key. Locked tight. Ugh, gross. Is this one of the areas I need to go to? Yes. Okay, hold on. I want to see. Can I actually play this? No. Out of order. Come back with me tomorrow. Okay, 
this is somewhere. No. There should be a fucking number. Ha! Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. Ah, one free beer for every point that Gallows High wins and by Tuesday big game with every order. Yeah, this is the number. I'm sure I can't open any other doors. Sure there's nothing else important. Not going out the exit, because that's definitely a death sentence. I need a key to get in there. Those areas are off limits, so yes, let's go upstairs. Anything useful? Yes, I'm yes, ready. I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Uh, yes. Let's make the call. Safe right there. When you're ready, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest. What'll it be? Ponty's Pizza. Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponty's Pizza is on the line. Ponty's Pizza, may I take your order? Hey, hey dude. dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? His name, uh, his name, uh, Slower's Pizza. Oh, man. I got him. Brat to feed, so give me that slow roast pizza. Oh, a fine choice, but that will take three hours. You sure? Uh, never, mind. never mind, just give me the garlic bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know, the frat house. Got it. Now we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Ponty's Pizza, you know. I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. And now we're playing a waiting game. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. Equally awful, equally good. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right. So, between grilling spree and chalupa cobras? I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Alright, time to save a life. Okay, Forrest, or shut kill the music them. off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose friend. This is Forrest. No, this is Forrest Nash, host of... Uh, 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 sure thing, Goose. Uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brother's away. 
I'm not Goose. I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? <laughs> Let me get a second opinion on this. Norman the Barbarian. What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the music. So play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Rio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no more. Walker's moving the house. Forest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forest, it's the killer. He's at the door. Please. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. Fuck yeah! You're welcome, Virginia. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes, some wear sheets as togas. <laughs> hey, Forrest, did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have Somebody a or a savior. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As Ooh. a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. Okay. The killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe family friendly place is it adam and eve because i'll go there what small oh, business do you own what small business do you own oh well i'm not really big on promotion but uh, since you ask it's Porsche's pizza the best and only pizza place in town oh god Come damn it down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one god damn it ponty no no free ads I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Pontes did save Virginia. I can be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Look, he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Take okay. Our first journey together. Well, it's a good thing I still have this right here. Labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or 
wait and see. For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Your home, your parents, do we really need... Do you really need to ask? <laughs> Stay and wait. Yes, get abandoned in a maze. Ah, what the hell. Stay and wait. Forrest, that's a terrible idea. Eugene, please go home. Your parents must be worried sick. My parents are dead, actually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess you came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh... Thanks again, Forrest. Good talk. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. All right. We'll get you out of this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Calm? I'm about to die a virgin. Listen, Eugene. <laughs> hide and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I. I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist, she's a maze maze fanatic. I know, I got it right she, here. She isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Sent maze maze for kids. We were gonna go last week. I thought the maze maze was for kids. It's not just for kids, Forrest. The maze maze is fun for kids and adults. Maybe we should call Barbara. Maybe we should call Barbara then, if she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. I got it right here. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Uh. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. God, help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. <laughs> Ring any bells? Right, yeah, sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Fuck you, Peggy. Oh, look Yo, here. Here's what I was looking for. I got it right here. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter right now. That's a question for Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. All right, before I do this, um, uh, I got. <laughs>
and I'm <laughs> Alright, let's continue this. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome back to 189.16 The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. <sighs> I'm lost, Forrest! I just ran and I I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Okay, that's there the one. Are bales painted gold on my right. On your right. Okay. Okay, one of these choices is gonna get him killed. But we can actually look at this time. Okay, so to get him out of there, if he goes forward, he's just gonna get looped around. If he goes up, if he goes left, that'll actually be more beneficial because he can actually. Can he get out that way? No, he can't. Backwards, we'll probably lead him to death. Go right. I'm not seeing anywhere. Where? I'm trying to see where it would connect to get out. We're gonna go left. Let's go left. See what happens. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I went left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me. Three. And a creepy rocking horse on my left. Okay, that was correct choice. Scriptures. Forward. Going forward would probably get them killed. Going right. Looked around. Go backwards. Uh, let's try go right. right. Okay. Here I go. This uh must look right. No. No, I I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! Oh, shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Go forward. Go forward! Okay! I'm going! Please! No! You don't have to do this! Ah! Okay. Wrong choice. Going right was bad. So let's try going forward. Go forward. Okay. Here I go. Oh god, he's dead. This, uh, doesn't look right. No, no, I'm going back to where I was. Jesus! Oh shit! He's cutting through the walls! Where do I go? Go backwards. Go backwards. Crossroads! Pitchfork statue up ahead! Where do I go? Okay. Let's put that there in case this is bad. Uh go forward. Go forward! Load game, save two. Just getting him killed multiple times. It's fine. Go right. Go right. Okay. And we stop going. doing that. Please. No. You don't have to do this. Load game, save two. Obviously, 
It's left. Go left. Go forward. Go forward. Okay. I'm going. Quick. He's and he's dead. Oh. Let's try this again. This feels more trial and error because I'm confused as where the fuck he is. Even though I got the number shit, it's it's weird on the map. Okay, go right. Go right. Oh wow, he's way up there. Okay, save game, save one, two, okay. Go, Go forward. forward. Okay, going. I'm going. Quick. No. Okay. Oh. Up. How many times are we gonna kill Eugene? Guess Go left. left. Okay, I'm going. Quick. Okay, the answer was right. <laughs> oh. Sure, we'll stop fucking doing that. Go All right. right. Still a virgin. That was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Shame the maze maze got all cut up. Yeah, better it than Eugene, though. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Ouch. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Walken. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Report Next a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Uh, thank you. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. You got it? I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So, I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. What do we do then? So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Of all 
all the songs to request. Why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? <laughs> wrote that song for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. Oh, uh, that's fair. Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest? Oh, thank God. It's me again. Murphy? Ah, oh, it's the dumbass. Talk to me, Murphy. What's wrong? Oh, the killer got me, man. I... Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I warned you not to. Hindsight is 2020, okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Goddamn piece of shit. You came to the gallows waste disposal plant. Beat on me, man. Carry me inside and lock me in a dumpster. I got a flashlight, but. Oh. Oh, goddamn. I smell smoke. I think he started a fire. Hold on, Murphy. We'll call for help right now. Gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Uh, hey, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. But I have a few friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. I looks up on the corner of Hayden Field Road for next to Romero Street. Hayden Field Road. Hayden Field Road. Hayden Field Road. Hayden Field Road. Right next to Romero Street. Okay, so that'll be right here. I'll be able to access the road between Rogers Avenue and Hayden Field Road. Okay, so Alex is out. Catherine is west the end of Myers Lane. West end of Myers Lane. Oh, Myers Lane up here. West end. I already saw it was. So over here. Wait, so I can get there pretty quickly. Catherine can probably get there. And fire department, get more fire engines. Alright, three. Old Man Cherico lives on east end of Myers Lane. Okay. I think I'm going to try Catherine first. Because the old guy is really old. It's going to take a while to get there. But sh Catherine can get there fast. Okay. 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 I got this. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Uh, Catherine. Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. See if I'm right. See if I'm right. See if I'm right. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Yeah! Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... God damn it. I'm going in. <clears throat> oh, my reception is terrible in here. God, my eyes stink. Uh... Game. Let's 
see anything, Murphy? Murphy? Can you see anything at all? Yeah, I got a little flashlight. Looks like old cans, bottles, and newspaper. What does it say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. All right, we're gonna take a shot in the dark. Uh, recycling. 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 Got it. Come on, Catherine. Shit. The plants are coming back. I can go shredding or crushing. Which way? Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? I'm in a dumpster, man. What do you want from me? Okay, so paper, the house has much metal stuff. So I'm gonna save right here. Because I think the crusher. Catherine, go to the crusher. Open the Henderson container. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man. You saved my life. There wasn't a Thank single you. death that run. Thank you. And, and I swear to you, now, I'm gonna raise Fernando's be like you. And I'm getting my money back from Vesta Robin. Hey, you just get home to your son, okay? Will do, Forrest. For Fernando. <laughs> well, folks, Gallows Creek has two folk heroes tonight, Murphy and Captain. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Great job, Forrest. No time to celebrate, though. We got a caller. You know what to do. All right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. Oh God. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founder, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. Oh, okay, great. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, Forrest. But you're really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. Oh, God. All right. Thanks, Teddy. Uh, right. Thanks, Teddy. Now, are you... Teddy, you lowlife. This is not the time to promote your damn campaign. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory, founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. A problem the 
that's ruining our town. Eddie, shut the fuck up. You know what it is? Emergency, not problem. I didn't problem. ask about a problem. I said emergency. The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Cut him off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. Eddie, shut the, the fuck up. moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. We'll be right back after these messages. We're in Japan now. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you ready to unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99? Then, oh, step God. into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate and receive direct by video warrior. Oh, it's Master Robbie. Master Robbie. You will learn the four qualities of an ultimate conqueror. The power of the alligator. The discipline of the tarantula. The speed of the tuna. The poise of the scorpion. And the wisdom of the bullfrog. Wisdom of the bullfrog? Using classified techniques, I'll unlock your inner chi after only five 30-minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be yours now for the low, low price of only $24.99. Just call 555-7861 USA to take your first step to becoming a champion. My god. That sounded like an American. Never forget the element of surprise! If you buy today, you'll receive two additional VHS tapes. The tornado technique and karate love me. What call the fuck? today! <laughs> Jesus, you know, after what happened with Murphy, I think... Yeah, we should take that out of rotation. Uh, kind of a shame, though. It is pretty fun. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Let's just get to the show. Apologies, folks. He must have left that tape in rotation by accident. I think it's fair to say that's one deal you can skip. But yep. what you can't skip is what our next caller has to say. Caller on line one. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Uh, hello, caller. I'm Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy on TV and my friend. I, I think he's killed some of them already. Oh, well, you're dead. That's him. He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. No, not load game. Save game. Where are you? Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god! I mean, stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this! Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, you can do it. What's your name? Uh, Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're gonna get you out of there, all right? Now, where are you? The old murder house. Upstairs. I'm what? At the end of a hall. There's, there's a bathroom, a couple bedrooms, a closet. Oh, he's coming. Where should I go? Okay, save. 
usually most bathrooms don't have windows, so a bathroom would work. Go to the bathroom. Okay, so that was the wrong choice. Oh, no! Go to the closet. To the closet. Okay, I'll... He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Run. Run! Okay, so it's the bedroom is the answer. Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Okay, I wanna see what happens if I don't answer. Okay. What the fuck? Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... Let me see if I can get her to run to the bedroom. He's here. He's here. He's gonna kill me. Forrest, I don't think we can... Run! Okay, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh, who's on the phone, Carrie? The cops? Just a joke, jeez. Okay, Wait, go fuck yourself. Isn't that... Jimmy, that wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. What guy? Horace Nash. What the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. You're sick, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, this is a pretty sick thing to do. What? It's whistling night. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask? It is hard to breathe. Who's under there anyway? Hmm? Is that you, Seth? Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Uh... Wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, I'm dead!
Fine. Everyone, run! About time, but not much. Forrest, we have to. Heather, I already called the cops. Forrest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Who is with you, Carrie? My friend. We drove out to the old murder house and. Oh, of course! The van! Who's got the keys? Jimmy had them. Now, I don't feel bad for his death. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Sorry. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. We'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... And... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh... We're figuring out a plan, but everyone's volunteering to do things they're just bad at. I think we could figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker. Right. Or else these idiots are going to get us killed. But I... Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. Great. Ugh. These damn kids never learn. You gonna be okay? okay? Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. Hit no. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Somewhere downstairs. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. I'm not getting in there tonight. Is that her room or someone else's room? Need the key. That's not opening. Okay, so it's neither of these. That's reception. Don't tell me they stuffed her in here. Uh, don't even see a desk. Oh, wait. I wonder if. This is her area. Locks tight. Not getting in there tonight. Jeez. Oh. They really tucked Jeannie away. Friendship quiz. 
This might work. Okay. So it looks like Heather's likely to be able to climb Mount Everest. Most likely to win a race. Or win the worst. Win the worst for worst poker face. Cynthia. Likely to end up in prison, Seth. Likely, likely to escape prison. Uh, Jennifer. It's likely to become an Olympic athlete. Either David or Heather. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. When you're ready, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first thing? Hold on. Steph. Okay, first things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Most likely to escape prison would be... Okay, so that'd be Jennifer. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Okay. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. That is part four. Sounds impressive. This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Well, Hot David. Hot David. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, uh... You spend a lot of time running shirtless. You got this, Hot David. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. And he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Worst poker face, which means would be bad. Looks like I'm gonna win the worst poker face. Which means if you're acting, that would be pretty bad. So I would say, um, Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, if you survive this, never do that British accent again. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be who we got? Chad. Scott, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Scott, Cynthia, and Chad. I don't see... I don't see where on here. Fuck. <sighs> Uh, 
This is the only part where I'm not sure what will happen. Because it's not written on here. Cynthia, Cynthia. I, don't know. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I. Yeah. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds Some good. of them are gonna die, most Talk likely. Sec. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Luck. Good luck. And Godspeed. You got this. Keys, Carrie, you need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. We got God. Oh, God. Focus. Focus. Breathe. Right. Right. The van keys. We got him. It's Boo. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And Hot David should be back any second. Doing great. Focus. You got this. We got okay. it. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Okay, so Tammy was the wrong one.
Okay. Let me go back here. Okay. First things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll so both the car, uh, the actor and the car thing were wrong. Or, well, the actor thing was wrong. Okay, so. Most likely to be at, uh, climb out after Mount Everest would be Heather. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now, please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. Part two. The whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Most likely to pick her up. Most likely to escape prison. That would be Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Why didn't you say so earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. Okay. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier than... Probably after I f save Carrie, I'll four. end stream. Since I got a VTuber thing later. This is a very detailed plan. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. Okay. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between who was it again? Hot David, Cynthia, and Scott. Okay, Hot David will be the fast runner. I think. Let me see. Yeah. Hot David. <laughs> yeah, you uh you spend a lot of So time once it talks live. about the you got actor, it, I need a save. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh. What's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. When someone can pretend to be injured, who would make the most believable bait? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Okay, so this is where we save. Let's see. Well, actually, now that I think about it, I was like to clean the window or for worse poker face. Oh! Uh, thank you for raiding, Griminex. I appreciate it. How's it hanging? Anyway, we're just trying to save people from being murdered. Alright. So, since on the poker face, like, who is the best poker face? Cynthia's not on that list. So, I'm gonna assume Cynthia. Cynthia. Great! Cynthia! That should take care of the killer. Time to get just try this game as well. Ah, Grim killed five people. Who can drive us oh no. Who's our driver? Four out of five. Go oh, three hours in. Chad, Scott, Tammy, oh, whatever. Forrest, hey, hey, hey. you know what to do. I saved one. <laughs> right, who should drive the van? Okay, so. I fucking forgot which one. It's supposed to be another person. Save the nerd. Cause you a nerd grim oh no. Alright, uh Who did I choose last time? I think I chose Scott. So let's see. I don't think any of them escape. Looks like an escape prison. Well, Scott's actually on there. And Tammy and Chad are not, so let's say Scott. Let's, I've got to go so I don't feel like much for myself. Good luck in the radio coast. Ah, thank you for following. And thank you. Scott. Right. I know we all love watching American Skid. Yes, I. Yeah. Okay. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh. Alright. Think I got everything right. And then it's 
goat. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Let's good luck, see. Harry. Let's see if I fucked up. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. So the only part I fucked up was at the poker poker face part. Once we get that. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. All right. Let's hey, find out that I fuck up. In, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about find to flee out. a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Uh, don't die. <laughs> don't die, okay? You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, right. Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Slaughter says go. All right. So far, so good. I haven't lost anyone yet. Granted, they died, but I brought them back as a saved. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. My saving power. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, his face is... The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him, Forrest. We got God. Oh, God. Yeah. Focus. 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 It's just a human Breathe. face. Breathe. It's not like right. his body got cut, cut up in multiple the pieces. Keys. That would be a lot more disturbing. It's through. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. Yes. And hot Keep going. Should be back any second. Keep going. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. All right. You're doing so far great. so good. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Okay, so I guess we'll let Cynthia. He's coming down. Yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van. Driver, take the keys. The damn gate swung shut. Was that? It's the whistling man. Drive now. Start the fucking car. It was. Is it Slot 3? I think so. I think so. I can't remember, but I think it is. It's most likely what acting. Okay, so I think we did Tammy and Lisa. If we did both of those, I don't think we did Cynthia. Cynthia. Right, Cynthia. It'll do. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. 
finally. Part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods, then back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad. Scott. Tammy. Ugh. Oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. I believe Scott. it is Scott. I know we all love watching Americans scared. Yes, I... Yeah. Just do what they did in the movie. Uh... Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves. And it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like a pretty good I think good I got plan. it this time. I think I got it this time. I hope you're I hope right. So. Yeah. I didn't hope. choose Cynthia last time. I think I chose Tammy and the other one. <laughs> sure, we did correct. Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. All right. Listener discretion. Come on. Lines. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. Come on. All right, don't die. Don't die, okay? Come on, you got come on. this. Here we come go, on. everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. All right, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter's signal. Spotter says go. Yeah, so the only thing that was fucking me up was the poker face the entire time. Oh, Just poker oh, face. Noise. His yes. face is the keys, Carrie. We've killed Carrie twice. His face is lying next to him for his We got God. Oh god. Focus. 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 Breathe. It's not Breathe. fully mutilated. Right. The 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 arms, legs, and head are attached, so it's fine. Get the keys. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. It's also technically not grave robbing since you know they're not in the grave. So it's fine. It's fine to steal from a corpse as long as it's not in the grave. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Please tell me I got it right this time. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. There he is. He's buying it. Oh. Oh no. He knows. He now, push the bookshelf over. Wait, now that I think about it, I think... Carrie! What was that? I don't think I chose... I think I chose Tammy right. twice by accident. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. 
That should take care of the killer. Yeah, I didn't choose Lisa. And then God it's time to get damn it. out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. You know what? Should it be who we got? Chad, Scott, Cynthia, uh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. You know, I'm gonna choose the one that's not on the list, cause you know what? I like to hear him get murdered again. Chad. Oh, perfect. Your go karting experience will be great, Chad. Oh, that's never mind then. They're live. They're gonna live. A few seconds for ourselves, <laughs> and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. All right. Well, they're it either gonna live or die. like a pretty good plan. I hope so. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope. Oh, the kids are back already. Line one again. All right. If you're just tuning in. We're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready, Carrie? We're good to go, Forrest. All right, don't die. Don't die, okay? You got this. Here we go, everyone. Slaughter, to the roof. Go, Heather. She's off and away. I All feel right, like Heather. I'm missing one of these. I'm pretty sure it was probably a second one. Why does she feel like that? I got a bad answer. <gasps> oh, Jimmy. Oh, the boys. His face is. The keys, Carrie. You need to get the van keys. His face is lying next to him for his. Good eating. Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, you know, human flesh apparently tastes like pork. So Focus. good eating. Breathe. <laughs> I'm psychotic. Got him. It's us. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And hot David should be back any second. Perfect. It's working. I can't believe it's actually working. You're doing great. Focus. You got this. We got this. Next step, trap the killer. All right. Wait. Get into position. Everybody else, hide. All right. Yeah, fuck you, bitch. Oh my god. He went through the floor. Water! You need to climb down now. We gotta go. He's coming down. Yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van. Driver, take the keys. Alright. Was that? It's the wood pudding man. Drive now. Think it's something wrong? Let me go. Go. Just drive. Oh my God.
Oh. Carrie? Just stare at me. And walked into the woods. I don't understand. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? your plan, Carrie, and it was a great plan. Yeah. It was all you. It was really all you, Carrie. Still, I need to get home. I... Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. I'll call you when I'm somewhere safe. Talk to you then. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents in this awful... For any kids listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, yeah. hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Anyways, this is where I'm going to save. And I want to come back to this tomorrow. Anyways, Danger Noodles. I know the stream wasn't as long as it usually is, but I got a VTuber cloud thing in a little bit. Let's see if there's anyone I want to raid. Someone I can raid. I think I know exactly what I'm going to say. Danger Noodle Raid, since I call you my Danger Noodles. Three, two, one. 